Welcome back to Game Devs Play Games, where you can watch games and practice game design. And we are back with more Kingdom Hearts 1.5 HD Remix. Get the air horns go up. I really should just get one of those like little sound things, and and just like program the air horn oh. sound in it. You died. Nope. Oh, this is the next part. Oh. Yeah, we didn't really come here yet. Let me go back up the stairs. I was gonna say, you weren't supposed to fall there, were you? Oh, you can. I mean, you can, but you're not supposed to. Nice job. That motherfucker is like, like blue I'm fire? No, it was water. It just hits you really hard. It's really high pressure water. Does it hurt? Yeah, a little bit. Jerks. I feel like the game got dark again, this recording right? session. It definitely did. I don't know what is up. We could we could take a quick look at our gamma settings real quick fine, if you don't want. Don't worry about it. We might have played this many episodes like this. <laughs> well, it was fine last recording session. Everything seemed pretty bright. Oh, last recording session? Yeah, no, I'm just yeah. saying, but, like, but I'm saying we might played a few episodes like this today, I mean. You know what? I wonder if... Yeah, this is the last episode for this recording session. Probably, unless you want to yeah, go there. Yeah, we'll uh, Play it by ear. I wonder if it's like the Elgato sometimes, because that's what we use to capture this footage. Um, but I noticed that when you change it from like PC settings to PS4 settings, it does have a shift in color. Uh, so I don't know, maybe it maybe, is. Maybe it like maybe last recording session it, it goofed up and it didn't shift the colors. Well, it could be because um, you know we had a yeah you uh, you got to play Dream Daddy earlier today maybe that. Oh, it could be. You know, flipping to a different kind of source, mm. maybe? Yeah, I don't know. I'll have to play around I'm, with I'm it. I'm just taking guesses, you know. Sometimes capture software is real weird. It took us a long time to figure out how to use the Elgato right. Like, way back in the beginning of the show, um, we actually almost canceled the show because it, we had so many episodes where we do a full recording session's worth of content. And, uh, we'll and it, it would be, all of the video footage would be corrupted. And the computer we used to record it was not a bad computer. It just like, it would hiccup and just glitch right, everything. Right, you there, you're thinking, what am I doing wrong? Yeah, yeah, so it was like, I don't know if this is feasible. And it just so happened that one of our computers ended up being our like, miracle savior. It's so bad, okay, so gravity. Oh, right, these guys. Nope, I never get this right. It's probably fire, because he used it by the fire. No, but like, who's the floating? This guy wants money, so give him money. Okay, I, so I think I'm supposed to hit him with fire. I like that oh, you wait, just what? moved him. <laughs> Maybe it's arrow. I don't. Well, he he said light something. So I think. Yeah, what does he say? Fire! Oh, messed that up too. <laughs> <laughs> Another one? Oh my what god. Is, what does this guy say? He's floating. Well, talk, talk to him first. You can't, you can't talk to him. He's just... Well, what's the question mark do? Goofy. Whoa, they're just killing him. No, he'll, he'll, he'll run away before he can die. Oh. We're pretty close to killing him. Just but doesn't out. the question mark mean you can inspect? Hmm, sort of. I want to see if I can glitch my way up here. Oh. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they just like leave forever if they start getting attacked. Oh yeah, they do. <laughs> All right, we got none of yeah, them. We got none of them. I'll figure it out one day. I just, I know it. I just can't remember it, and I will never remember it. So you know. Yeah, I feel like feedback and what you're doing right or and wrong is pretty cryptic. And I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter since it's. It's all bonus. It's all gravy but if you if do want, it right. That's if we want the old team weapon, we're gonna need the mystery goose that they provide. Now, if you leave and come back, will they respawn? They will be gone. They kind of come randomly. Oh, I see. So if you want them to come back, you just have to keep playing the game over and over again. Well, not the whole game, but like you just have to go find find them randomly in worlds. But like, if you miss out on them, say say you 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 fail here. And you go to a couple of other worlds, and you come back here. Is there a chance that they'll come back? Maybe. <laughs> I, I guess you'd only be able to really find out if you you do it. Right, exactly. Hmm. I mean, I guess if you always use fire on them, eventually you'll be right. I thought you should like, follow the leader on those. I never know. 
poke. You know, in the movie, that causes Every lava. Movie. Wasn't it lava? Well, that's, that's what kind of caused the whole, like, everything to fall apart, because that's when um, Abu takes it, and, and they're like, uh-oh, this gem turned into lava, and now the whole Cave of Wonders is falling apart. That's right. Ooh. To the dark chamber. Oh, you drop stuff. Oh, and we have a safe spot. Uh, yes, we do. Are we... Is... After you beat this, yeah, we is that... on page two. Oh, sweet. Definitely in the poop. Is there a boss fight up there? Oh, there's a boss fight here, indeed. But, like, close to that save point? No. Because I, I feel like whenever you see save points, like, they're just kind of, like, in the middle of a dungeon. It's like, you should probably save. There's going to be a boss fight You know, it soon. doesn't work the same in this game for that. Yeah. Um, so we'll go up here, I think it just takes me back to the very front entrance. I guess, to be fair, yeah. because there are continue, uh, since there is a continue function, um, when you fail... Right, exactly. It just makes sense that, like, you you would just use that. So yeah, it doesn't right. really matter as much where the save points are. Yeah. Oh, we haven't really talked about that, but that's kind of smart. That means right. that they can kind of place their save points and in probably better locations, like more frequently throughout a dungeon than, you know, just before a boss fight, which is the more traditional route. Right, exactly. Mm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And it, it, like, in a weird way, I mean, the original game wasn't built with uh, getting, like, trophies and things in mind. No. Um, but it helps justify some of those other trophies of, like, you know, beat the game without ever uh, Using continuing. continuing yeah. hmm. Which I did have my last playthrough. I'm proud mode. Yeah, I mean, that's cool. It was tough. I'm definitely, I could see, whoa, <laughs> that was... I didn't mean to do that, but <laughs> yeah, I'll take I it. I liked, did you see how they fell, though? Yeah. <laughs> that was like the game did not yeah. understand what to do with just happened. That was kind of delightful. When games start derping, man. That was, it was an animation glitch, I think, because you were still, like, kind of on the wall while you were falling down, but it right. repositioned you to, uh... <laughs> animate down into the hole. Yeah, exactly. It's like, um... <laughs> oh, it's good. I'm into that. This game is pretty sound as far as, like, it's in... Pillar probably rises up to the top. Is that, like, a clue? Yeah, something? kind of. I guess I can't do anything back here yet. There's always the part where I'm like, what do I have to do again? Oh, yeah, this. Yeah, is this, like, a puzzle at this point? <sighs> kind of. I mean, I mean, you yeah. just have to hit all the eggs, right? Or no, that just opened up another area. The crystal egg. I'm fighting you guys right now. I'll come back. Yeah, this game's pretty sound in, as far as like oh, yeah. it's it's uh, engineering, I guess. Like it doesn't really break much, does it? No, no, no. Not like Okami, where our head gets stuck in the ground. Oh, did it really? Oh, it was a funny glitch. It was good. I should make a little bonus clip on our Facebook page for that. But, uh, something happened where, like, mid-combat, uh, the main character- our character's head got, like... I, th I think what happened was his head locked onto an enemy, and uh -huh. after we destroyed the enemy, the enemy was just moved off screen because he was oh, killed. He was killed. And so our head kept tracking that enemy and like pulled uh, his head through the terrain. Oh my god. And it was god. just this stretch of white, because he's a white wolf, and it was a stretch of like white polygons That's across the funny. entire screen. It was it was really funny. And Eddie did something and it just like warped us to another part of the game. That's like we awesome. we like teleported across the map and we were like, I don't understand what just happened there, but I need to them for this. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, ah, I, don't, I don't know. I just did, but I, but I did a thing. It's it's, man, I, I know that I shouldn't get excited when I see stuff like that because that's something that usually affects reviews and and people will like. Yeah, right. Bad like, mouth games, but when I find bugs like that, I think it's the funniest thing in the it world. It is. It's just super funny because you're like, oh, you didn't mean that to happen. I guess that's what makes me better suited for QA work than some other people. When I yeah. find a good bug at work. I will laugh in my chair yeah, for right? You're solid just like, 10 you're like, minutes yeah, just, before I log that bug. This is perfect. I'll like walk around, show everyone the ridiculous bug, be like, look at this shit! And they're like, how? Uh, this is not funny, Chris, stop laughing. I'm like, this is ridiculous! <laughs> it's so good! 
I just popped this one. <laughs> oh man. All turned around. I am getting myself all turned around. Let's let's go this way. We haven't gone this way yet. Now that I'm a QA lead, I can do that and like go show my my underlings. Be like, look at this shit. And they're like, Chris, I'm trying to work. Uh, but, but look at this first. <laughs> well, I'm your boss now, so look at this. Uh, uh, oh. <laughs> yes. huh. Shout out to Foster. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for giving me a lead position. Yeah, this, this makes me think again about how, like, running the show is a weird archive of our lives. Yeah, oh my god, absolutely, and how like, much we're going to be changed over the course of the time. Yeah, right? Like, well, in the when, span well, of... when Nathan started, he wasn't married yet, right? No. Yeah. yeah. Now he's been married for how many almost, years? Almost. By, by the time... By the time I get married, it'll be almost three years. Yeah, it's pretty wild. It's about two and a half right now, I think. I mean, even in the span of, like, what, f four months or so, we saw, like, me go from super employed, like, at some fancy corporate job, to unemployed and starving, yep. to working contract work, and now I'm, I'm a lead QA, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, dude, it's... And I'm just poor. Oh. That's how you touch that Yeah, crystal. I need to get that one. I was like, how am I getting this? Don't get me wrong, buddy. I'm still poor with you, huh. but yeah, right. I'm just happy yeah, that I have a cooler broke, title. Broke. <laughs> Meteor. Ooh. Now the spell. Don't don't get excited. Ooh. Don't get excited. It's for the ship. For the ship. Don't get excited. We can like make the ship spew meteors. Don't get excited. Is that what it does? No. What is? What yeah, it's a gun, I think. I mean, a gun that shoots meteors. Uh, I don't get excited. A gun that you shoot meteors with? Ooh, there you go. No. Eh? <laughs> Chris, what did I tell you about getting excited? Listen, man, don't I just want to have fun with Kingdom Hearts. Don't you can't take excited. this away from me. Don't get excited. <laughs> Chris, just don't get excited. But Tony, the gummy ship is the best part of this I game. doing? No, no, this asks the entire audience. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, just do the thing. I, just, uh, I, I, I don't know what happens when you don't know what the thing is. Why is this here? What is the point? Oh, that wall. That's a good question, actually. I mean, maybe it's there so that you can jump to that platform? I assume you can't, like, freeze the water. I don't know. I'm not uh, back up at the entrance. Which is not where I want to be. Yeah, it's not often in this game that we've seen any arbitrary components in its level design. Everything feels very intentional. Oh, because it always is. I mean, this is, usually... This is the point where I'm just like, well, like, it's like wait, 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 what am I supposed to do again? Like, it's something. The answer is something. Yeah, our goal is, a, is definitely not as obvious as Well, it. we need to break down that little... I touched that one. To, uh, I mean, really, it just seems like we just have to f touch all the crystal eggs, right? I'm pretty sure we, we've touched almost all of them at this point. So maybe it's something else? No, because we're supposed to take down... Let me see. Let me it this way. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. It's not this way. <laughs> so back up this way we go. Yeah, do you think this this some the like clearer again. indication of your progress would be nice? Have you touched so, that one? Uh, I, I don't think, think you've so. touched that one. What to find out? It looks okay. like it's off. It's hard to Because they kind of glow, right? No. Oh, well, yeah, I guess you did. Them. I guess they don't really glow. They glow at first when you first touch them. They're like, hey. Mm. I mean, I guess that's something that would be nice. If we do have to touch every single one of them, if they, like, glowed or disappeared. This one I just did. I just did this one. That's what got me to here. Oh, is that a door? Oh. Ah, ha, ha. Wait, oh. no, I took this one already. No, but I took this one. Oh, really? It was so yeah. sneaky. Last special. Womp womp. Bob, let's just go up. This is fine. We'll figure it out. Just, uh... I like that Aladdin's legs kind of kick through the... I call back. ...the terrain as you swim up that mini waterfall. All right. So, uh, let's see. What am I wanting to do? I don't remember what I have to do. No, I'm pretty good. I remember what I have to do. But, uh, but, uh. I yeah. mean, it, are all of the crystal egg guys down below here? Well, no, I'm trying to get back to that one little area where it's like the. Um, where it shows the little relic. It's like, oh, yeah, look at this. This is not the relic where it shows the, um. 
which was a little tower. And you look at it for a like second. Like that spiral yes. tower, the one that was like, I think this goes all the way up to yeah, the top. Yep, exactly. I you don't have to do something to, there? I just remember how to get over there now. Like, for the life of me, I'm like, how the hell did I get there before? I think you just have to, like, climb up top and then jump down at a certain spot. No, yeah, but there's a way to, like, I just got through it normally, too. There's a way to normally do it. Try going up there. Try going back this way, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I go up there, too. Hidden, hidden room. room. That's Ooh. right. Yeah. I think I can do something now, maybe. Nope. Nope. Just... There's another crystal egg up there, though. This door. Yeah, but I can't reach that. Just can you? Maybe can you climb this? No. It seems so climbable. You can't jump that far. No. Huh. Something that we can do. I just wish I remember what it was. I think you need to go back up top and then fall down where that crystal egg guy yeah, is. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, you know what? I know what we need to do. Ha ha ha. Exactly what I just said? No. <laughs> kind of. <laughs> Not really. I mean, I'm just saying. Let's get over there. I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the the design of this this labyrinth is pretty interesting. Oh, it's kind of punishing in in the like it's really easy to fall back down here and yeah, it, you know every time you fall down here it's disorienting, so it's hard yep, to remember exactly. like exactly. It was like mm, yeah. Just, it's fine though. Labyrinth is a good way to describe this. It doesn't feel like a labyrinth at first. It doesn't want to come from here. I don't have to worry about all that. Well, we'll just we'll just beat these guys. We'll just just don't have to worry about like you know. I mean that's fair. That's probably what they want you to do anyway. Cause they're gonna throw stuff at you. Yeah. Okay. Whoop. Hey. Bottomless hall. I'm on the other side of this, and I need to push that. Oh, down there. whoa. Yeah. And over that sweet sweet treasure. Make a potion. Nice. And then... Maybe that's what that random patch of uh, ground was for. Now it landed somewhere. Yeah, go through there. I'm sure it's all I have to do with the. Oh, no, not through here. Not through here. Not through here. La 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 la. Maybe it's back over by that pillar. That's exactly what I was. Oh. I realized I meant to go. Yeah, this is like labyrinthian puzzles, which. I mean, it's it seems fun enough. It's definitely interesting compared to a lot of the other dungeons we've been through. It's more involved, at least. I guess it's not it. Hmm. That, that 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 thing does something for me. There's a reason you push that down. Right, right. I mean, that seemed Goes pretty intentional. Somewhere. Oh, you know, there's a little. Hold on. I mean, you don't need to use the Trinity, do you? No, you shouldn't have to. They would never make you use a Trinity. I guess you could always swap. Right, that's exactly what I'm gonna do, just for shigs. Yeah. We'll go a little long in this episode just to wrap this challenge up. Well. I get too excited now. <laughs> Unless you'd rather save it for the next episode. Let me see. Let me, uh, I just don't remember if that does anything. It's been so long. And because the how dark those colors were, I didn't realize that was a trinity. Oh, yeah, it did kind of no, blend in. I mean, it's a blue environment, and it's a blue yeah. trinity. Which trinities do we do? Do we have? We have blue, blue and red. red. Mm -hmm. Thundera. Ooh. Okay, yeah, we'll just do it for the next episode. Okay. Um, I'll do a little bit of search and make sure I'm not crazy. Um, so yeah, uh, question of the day. How are question of the day? How are they utilizing the the level design to kind of create a, uh, a labyrinthian kind of labyrinthian. style of design? Um, because I. I I think the interesting thing about this level is that it's not using anything different. It, it, like, there's nothing un unique mechanic-wise right. in this level than there are in others. I mean, aside from maybe like, I don't know, it, touching the crystal, but that's, that's just a normal trigger. Like, I wouldn't really call right. that unique. 
compared to what we've seen in other levels. Um, but they created a really different feeling level using the same same stuff that we've already seen. Right, exactly. They're just like, all right. So it's, it's I think this level of, of all the levels we've done so far speaks well to the diversity that you can create content-wise through level design. And I think that's really important. Absolutely. And it's, it's, I guess, like a further justification on why level design is super important. Just having interesting mechanics is not enough to make for an no. interesting game or an interesting experience. This this is working purely on its level design, exactly. and I think that's that's good. That's really good, actually. Something you don't see very often. Cool. Well, if you've enjoyed this series so far, give it a thumbs up, and if you like us, then subscribe to us. Otherwise, we will see you in the next episode. Goodbye, guys. Bye.